Hello everyone. Today we will be doing another video on IBM Curator. Our focus today is um, the Curator network hierarchy. So what is a network hierarchy? A network hierarchy uh, in, net in computer networking, it separates our network into different layers and each layer has a different function that defines its role within the network okay um, if you work in an enterprise environment most network hierarchies are divided into three layers the core layer the distribution layer and the access layer smaller networks have just two layers uh, which is going to be the core and the distribution layer which sometimes also act as the access layer or access the access layer but since we are focusing on curator and this is not really a networking video uh, curator uses the network hierarchy objects and groups to be able to view network and flow activity to monitor separate groups in your network and uh, this network hierarchy can be defined using IP addresses that can base your network or environment based on different variables like different geographical locations, different business units, and different sectors of your network. So to be able to configure or make changes to this network hierarchy, the first thing you want to do is log into your curator uh, user interface. You're going to go to the admin tab and then we'll navigate to network hierarchy. So once we open up our network hierarchy here, it brings up another page where we have uh, different columns. We have the name, we have the IP slash CIDR, have the description and the location. So normally when you install Curator, it comes with um, the network hierarchy already defined or created but there's really nothing in there so you have to go in there and based on your environment list out your networks and how they're segmented and stuff i will show you why it is important after we've gone over how to add and make changes to your network hierarchy so let's say you have an an, an organization called geek together and this is your um, curator enterprise tool and you're trying to add in your different segments of your network into curator so curator knows where a particular traffic is coming from or going to in that case if you have a DMZ you're going to click on add new in order to add new networks or to edit your network hierarchy you select the add new option and here we see we have different groups like we saw out there. We have the DMZ group, we have the NAT ranges, we have proxy servers, we have um, a server network that I created, we have the VPN address space, we have that, we have VoIP networks and wireless networks. So if we wanted to define our VPN network CIDR, all you need to do is go into groups you select the VPN address space and then we will give it a name here let's say we'll call this we'll call this geek together VPN okay notice I'll tell you that you can't use spaces so we'll do v, uh, geek together and the underscore VPN and then this is where we enter our network cyber uh, cider so for example we'll do 10.200.10.0-24 or if you were specifying just one ip address you will do dash 32 but since we want to have a whole address space or cider because we don't have just one vpn user we have multiple vpn users and they use the whole dash 24 subnet we'll do that and then you just hit the plus button to add that in there and at this point you can add the country we'll use United States and then you can go ahead and click create 
okay if you come into the vpn address space you can see now that the geek together vpn that we created for 10.200 or 10.0 that's 24 is now included in our network hierarchy and that goes the same for everything if you wanted to add something to the wireless network you go into add um, you select the wireless network you give it a name you put the IP um, side of uh, if you have like multiple if you have multiple IP siders that that um, if you have multiple IP IP cider range or an IP address range that you're using for that particular network you can always add all of them here so you can add as many as you want it doesn't really matter so once you add all that you can write a description as well you select the country and you do create so that's how you add subnets or IP siders or IP addresses into your curator network hierarchy. Another thing I'm going to show you is how to add new groups. So in order for you to add a new group, you're going to go to add because groups are um, this out here and then the subnets themselves are within the group. So we have a DMZ and we have the DMZ external and then we have maybe the DMZ internal. So you might have wireless networks and then you have a public wireless network and you have an internal wireless network and then maybe you might have one for IoT. The same goes for servers and so forth. But if you wanted to create a new group, you go to the add button and by the group, you click on this little um, configuration sign on there and then you, you put a group name. So here we'll call this We'll call this um, network or we'll call this network equipment. Okay. And then we'll save that. Once again, you can't use spaces. We'll just call this network devices. Okay. We'll go save and then that's it. If we, if we look on here now, network devices have been added to our group but it didn't show up here because I didn't save it so now that we've learned how to create um, the groups and uh, the subnets note that if you wanted to delete a group or a sub subnet you're just going to go and click on it and then hit delete and that's pretty straightforward so now that we've learned how to create those groups, subnets, and how to delete them, the next thing you need to understand is that every time you make changes to your network hierarchy, you're going to see an, a notification here that says that you need to deploy changes. So you have to make sure you deploy changes for the changes that you've made inside of the network hierarchy to take effect. So you're just going to go ahead and click deploy changes and wait for the changes to deploy okay once you have that taken care of we can go back to the offense tab let me show you why it is important to set up your network hierarchy here i have an alert of um, web filter denied access so someone tried to access a web page and my firewall or router blocked them or denied this request if you hover your mouse over the IP address, the internal IP address, you can see Curator says um, the network is wireless networks dot secure LAN. So the wireless networks is the network hierarchy group in my network hierarchy. Let me go back here real quick. So we try here. Wireless networks group and secure line. You can see it's from the subnet 10.100.10.0. If we go back to that alert, that is where the source IP is coming from. And the location is the United States. And you can see the IP address on there. This is why your network hierarchy is very important because it helps you understand. Uh, it helps you look at an IP address and know where that IP address comes from without you having to go use something like an IPAM tool or do an NS lookup and all that stuff 
to be able to know exactly from which subnet or from which area in your network that that IP address that generated the alert or the event is coming from. So this is all about the network hierarchy. If you like the video, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.